Uh, Panthers FC was formed uh, in 2017 uh, here in Crestline, Ohio. Uh, I uh, formed it uh, with the help of uh, Joe Dugan, uh, who provided me with the facility uh, to start a soccer program back here in Crestline after being about 10 years uh, without soccer here. So we developed it in 2017, made it a travel league, uh, and that's where we'll run uh, for the uh, rest of our uh, organization. We'll run in a uh, travel league uh, with Ohio North. Uh, we uh, just implemented the Little Panthers program uh, for ages three until six. Um, we started that two weeks ago. Uh, so uh, as we continue to get bigger and the numbers continue to grow, uh, we'll start implementing other programs uh, within the organization. So I have some players from uh, Lexington. We have Madison players, St. Pete's, uh, Ashland. Uh, so we have a mix of different uh, uh, high schools within the community. Uh, on, our, on our girls program, we have Crestview, Lexington, uh, Ontario, Galleon, having the ability to uh, provide another option for the kids uh, in this area uh, to play in the spring season on their off season. Jason uh, reached out to us and all my friends pretty much play on this team so we all came together and now look at us. Yeah, I feel like ever since I've grown up, this is a kind, of, kind of like the sport you play as a young kid and um, it's just kind of cool to see everyone playing. It's cool to kind of play in the traditional stadium and there's a lot of seats and just know the history behind it. It's just really neat. It was family friends like the coach, Jason and Chris. They've known my parents for a long time. Uh, and I played for Minnesota Ludicrons, which is a previous club I played at. And he was the coach of the old team. I would say so. Uh, we have practices like two, three times a week. And every single week, we get more and more people to come and join us from surrounding areas, whether it be different teams. And we all get together and have big practices and just have fun. Uh, when I first heard about the stadium, uh, I knew it had like a long background of old football teams that were legendary and great. And I just thought it was pretty neat that we all had the opportunity to get and join on, on the field and play together. Uh, I can tell you that uh, when I started in 2017, I had a U15 girls team and we had eight players and I borrowed players from other clubs within our organization uh, that we were a part of. Uh, and so then uh, over the last two years, we've went from eight players uh, to now we roster 34 players uh, for the spring season of 2019. So as a person who's from Crestline, uh, spent eight years here, went through elementary into uh, the high school. Uh, so I was a part of Hudson Stadium as a kid, watching the kids play on the field. Uh, and then uh, in 2017 was the first girl to ever step on the field and play. Uh, and the field uh, was uh, designed uh, in 1920. So uh, to have uh, uh, soccer here uh, at the old Hudson Stadium, which is now called Hudson Park, um, is uh, it's a great opportunity for all the kids involved. So uh, tryouts uh, for the fall season will start in June uh, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Uh, so if you'll go to Panthers FC on Facebook, you'll uh, keep up to date with all of the uh, things going on for uh, tryouts and whatnot. So I uh, look forward to seeing uh, more kids in the younger ages uh, coming in the fall.